this your first time in New York? It is actually my second time. I was here for a trade show. I am not familiar with New York or the city at all, but I know that it's it's beautiful and there's so much that comes from it. So I know I need to learn more because I grew up in a town of 150 people. Okay. And it had one cafe, one bar, and one church. Have you ever thought of living in a small town? I've always been a city, city girl. girl, yeah. I lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico for like three months. And then I came here, so... So Albuquerque was too small for it you? It was way too small, yeah. I definitely like the lights, the endless amounts of people. You never know who you're going to meet. It's like my vibe. Do you ever, like, see yourself living in, like, a city like New York? No. Or? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Describe a day in the life of a farmer and how it differs from your fashion world in New York City. Okay, you probably wake up at like 5 a.m. and on like some overalls or something and like boots and then tend to the crops. And that's like the complete opposite of my life. People have this romantic vision of farmers being that old man in the field with the pitchfork. Right. Yes, that was, but it's not anymore. Farmers right now, they're business people. They have to understand data and technology. Farmers are agronomists and not just, oh, there's a weed, but what's the science in the soil? What's the science in the plant? As you do, you create, mm -hmm. right? You're, you're creating your brand, your, your apparel, right? Farmers are creating food. I would say it's just a different end product and hopefully bringing joy to other people's exactly, lives. Exactly, yes. exactly. We and everybody just... needs to wear something and everybody needs to eat something. Yeah, it's like basic human needs. It is, <laughs> yeah. What is the hardest part about being a farmer? There's so many things that are, that are completely beyond our control. We can't control mother nature. And so that would be the most difficult part. That sounds challenging. It <laughs> it's is. really unpredictable. That also is what makes it really fun and seeing the food that you produce, that people eat, that's really rewarding. So why do you think that 55% of people have negative top of mind association about agriculture? Do you and your friends sit around and talk about how horrible agriculture is? Not once. <laughs> we we talked about that. <laughs> what are some things that they come at you for? Like, what are some things you have to like defend yourself for? In agriculture, we produce food, fuel, and fiber. And there's a lot of people that aren't familiar with, with the process or how it's done. And so they sometimes think that technology and agriculture is a bad thing when it's really um, imperative and it's important because that's how we're going to grow more food on fewer acres. Sustainability is huge in agriculture and a lot of people don't understand that. We have to be able to use that same ground to plant again next year and the year after and the year after. And for, for my kids and for my kids' kids to be able to plant. I feel like with fashion, too, it's kind of like the same. Like, people have, like, negative connotations on fashion, too, because all, like, the leftover fabric and, like, all the clothes that are, like, in the landfill. So it's, like, I have to think about, like, sustainability, too, just in, like, a different, like, aspect, I think. There's so many parallels, right? And who would have thunk that yeah. a fur coat fashion designer <laughs> in New York City and a potato farmer from North Dakota, we really... Again, we have similar days, and I love having these conversations. And again, you're more than welcome to come out to the farm I anytime. I want to come. I want to yeah. come. I feel like that'd be so fun. <laughs>